Dark Lord, I consider it an honor to call upon a fellow member of the Dark Council in this matter. What's this all about? You represent the last, most vital piece in my plan to shake the Republic to its very core. I'd say more, but it's better we speak in person. I promise you, together we will change the face of the galaxy. Starting with the planet Tython. If I could carry a tune, I would sing of this day. What we are about to accomplish, the galaxy will forever behold with great wonderment. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. After all, we've never properly met. Darth Arcus. Yes, a pleasure. In my capacity as Minister of Military Offense, I have repeatedly enjoyed the fruits of your labor. And this is my most trusted advisor, Lana Benico. The value of a great mind cannot be measured. The Dark Council is no doubt all the better for your involvement. You see me well. The Force teems within you. And it always has. I'm fortunate in that regard. You've been invited here to perform an act once thought impossible. An attack on the Jedi Temple of Tython. Promising leads have been rare ever since Imperial intelligence was effectively dismantled. However, a source I personally trust has alerted me to a hole in Tython's planetary defenses. If we act fast and strike hard, it will absolutely ruin Republic morale. Annihilate it. And once we've taken the temple, what then? While you concern yourself with the assault, Lord Go will be tasked with keeping the temple secured. So long as we have control, we'll explore the artifacts and histories stored inside. Imagine all we can learn about the Jedi and the Force. Such information would be a great boon to the Sith. Indeed it would, Dark Lord. Your shuttle awaits. By the time you reach Tython, our first wave will have established a foothold on the surface. I'll remain in constant contact throughout the offensive. Succeed in this, and together we will have signaled the beginning of the Republic's most humiliating end. Glory for the Empire! As if it wasn't enough to sense your presence. You seem to have a need to do everything as loudly as possible. This is the Jedi Temple. You are not welcome. Leave this sacred place now. You'll not get a second warning. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Surrender peacefully, Jedi. You've had your chance to retreat. Now you'll learn why. I'm the High Council's chief combat advisor. Can you believe Tech Ops already remapped the secure comms? Talented slicers we have in our employ, though even they pale in comparison next to you. Um, pardon the intrusion. I thought you'd want to know the Jedi Temple is now fully under our control. We have a number of Jedi Padawans in our custody. Must be recent additions. They didn't know the first thing about fighting. What would you have me do with them? They're not worth the time to kill. Send them out. Let them spread word of the Empire's victory. As you wish, my lord. You haven't found it yet, Lord Go, because the blasted Jedi don't want it found. Keep searching! The temple and its mysteries are all ours now. Darth Arcus is indescribably pleased. Don't I get to hear what Darth Arcus and his pet are discussing? It's no secret. With the temple secure, Lord Go has been tasked with uncovering any hidden information stores. On behalf of Darth Arcus, I thank you. 
This is a banner day for the Empire. Be proud. The Jedi Temple is now in Imperial hands. Indeed it is. All thanks to your efforts, of course. At this very moment, Lord Goh's team is exploring a hidden chamber rumored to hold the Jedi's most treasured secrets. Better still, the Republic will be reeling right now, stupefied over the humiliation you've wrought. My lord. Sergeant Tarsten, do you not see that I have company? Important company? Of, of course, my lord. But I have a report from, uh, from Korriban. It seems the Republic, my lord, they... Try taking a breath, Sergeant. Yes, yes, you're right. My apologies. Republic forces have made landfall on Korriban and sacked the Sith Academy. What? A retaliation so soon? What's the present status? It's done. They've taken the Academy, secured it, and reports indicate that Darth Sovereus gave his life in its defense. I see. Leave us. Darth Sovereus made a fine addition to the Dark Council. We should all strive to be as loyal to the end. Ready the shuttle for departure. I'm going to Korriban. You're eager. Good. We need eager. At this very moment, Jedi walk the halls of our Sith Academy. Our Dark Council Chambers. Simply outrageous! I'm going to coordinate with our forces on Korriban. Ensure you have a safe place to land as near the Academy as possible. As with Tython, I will remain in close contact with you throughout the operation. A final note. Whoever is heading Republic operations on Korriban must be made an example of. Do not take their command lead prisoner! May the Force favor you this day. Yes. The Force be with you. And with the great Sith Empire. What is it this time, Sergeant? These Sith apprentices were holed up in a medical supply storeroom. They're injured, some of them seriously, but they're able to walk at least. Your orders. They're in no shape to fight. Find them someplace where they can recover. Yes, of course. I'll see to it personally. Move out, cowards. Now! They've breached the front entrance. It's only a matter of time. Be ready. Jedi, you befoul the Dark Council with your presence. This place was already foul. But don't worry, sis. I have no intention of staying. It's been conveyed to me that you shouldn't be allowed to leave. Not alive, at any rate. So it's happening. I didn't think I'd have served my purpose so soon. What are you going on about? What purpose? We believe in a cause worth protecting. Worth dying for. Let's find out if you can say the same. The Force give us strength! And you can't stop it. Tell me what you know. No point threatening a dead man, Sith. And with that, the Sith Academy is secure. I suppose saying good work would constitute a gross understatement. This Jedi Commander, he said some odd things. I'm sure Darth Arcus would like to hear about it. He's eager to offer up his congratulations in person. You've really come through for the Empire. There is so much for us to thank you for, and much yet to discuss. I hope we see you soon. The Republic's been flushed from the Sith Academy, and their commander, Jensen, is dead. You have served the Empire with strength and passion. 
I applaud you. Before he died, Commander Jensen made a comment about having served his purpose. He did. Almost makes it sound as though the Republic sacrificed all those forces in support of some ulterior motive. Listen, I want to be sure you understand that what you've accomplished, both on Korriban and on Tython, will be long remembered. Everyone will look back on these days as the nascent events that framed a new foundation for the galaxy. They will see those who participated as its architects. Have you taken Lord Goes about silence, or whatever that was? I am reflecting on the day's events. As Darth Arcus has said, your contributions thus far have been most impressive. Lana and I are indebted to you for your exemplary actions in the Empire's name. We thank you. Yes, thank you. I do hope we have the chance to speak again. Preferably soon. Glory for the Empire. You came. Good. I'm aware I've been somewhat quiet following your success on Tython. Don't mistake my reticence for apathy. Truth is, I have a great deal to say. Now that we're alone, we can have a real dialogue. Why don't you start by telling me a little more about yourself? Oh. What is it you want to know? How did you end up as advisor to Darth Arcus? I wanted to better understand war, so I asked to be posted with him. Over time, he came to trust my opinion, so here I am. Can we... Sorry, I don't mean to appear antisocial, but I do have pressing concerns. Darth Arcus wasn't entirely forthcoming about his reasons for invading the Jedi Temple. Not even with me. He was after a very specific item. An artifact. What sort of artifact? A holocron? A device? Some ancient weapon? The less I'm in the dark, the better I can understand Arcus's motivations. I wish I could say. Whatever it is, Darth Arcus was in a raid with Lord Go until he found it. And there's more. I now believe that the Republic's attack on Korriban wasn't a retaliation for Tython. It was intended to coincide with our own attack. Attacking Korriban? While the Empire still held the Jedi Temple didn't make much sense to me at the time. It still doesn't. Nor should it, not from our current vantage point. But a wider context may exist that could explain recent events. There's something in the Force that I've never felt before. It exists nowhere and everywhere at once. Rising, growing. I should sense that as well. Are you sure? I think I sense this growth because I'm tied to it somehow. Maybe by association to Darth Arcus. I think... I think the Empire is in terrible danger. I'm used to offering my counsel to others. Now I turn to you for yours, Dark Lord. Will you help me? I did not join the Dark Council to stand idly by while the Empire crumbles around me. I knew I could count on you. I felt it. I'll see if I can't make sense of what happened on Tython and Korriban, and what all of this means. Whatever I find, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Stay vigilant, and may the Force ever serve you. Welcome. So good to see you again. As implied in our last brief communication, Darth Arcus is at the center of a grand conspiracy. Arcus had the Jedi Temple raided to acquire knowledge of Rakata technology that he could use to harm the Empire. Even now, he plots against us. What can you tell me about this technology? Nothing, I'm afraid. He smartly kept the details hidden from me. But we're very close to the truth now. I've followed Arcus to a secure undersea laboratory here on Manan, where he's working with a Selkath geneticist on... something. I've been trying to learn more. 
I've also discovered that Colonel Darroch secured passage to the same laboratory. He was behind the Republic's raid on Korriban. It seems to me that Arcus and Darroch are working together. That's my feeling as well, but we won't know for certain unless we get into that laboratory. As I said, it's a well-protected facility. You'll have to make your way through heavily armed Selkath and dismantle their security grid. You're not coming. I'd intended to confront Darth Arcus myself, but I sense a presence here. A potential ally. I'll remain in touch and let you know how my search progresses. May the Force be at your service. Jakaro! My most sincere apologies for his outburst. Please don't leave us here to rot! I implore you! I'm guessing you two have no choice but to stick together. I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence, Queen Lena of Onderon. And this is my current master, the renowned illicit transport specialist, Jakaro. A smuggler, in other words. Jakaro was hired, quite innocuously, by a Selkath geneticist named Garima. We delivered a large shipment of perfectly legal medical supplies here to this facility. Imagine our consternation when Garima then had us imprisoned and interrogated most harshly by two awful creatures. So it's true. Darth Arcus and Colonel Darrick are working together. Is that significant? An extra hand wouldn't be entirely unwelcome. Interested? We shall endeavor to hurry and regroup with you at our earliest opportunity. You must be Gorima. Time to talk. This hog is so hard and kept to Lisa. The hard way. Nemvo King Avila Gito Toto. Latate Hata Mogotpa. Are you making cyborgs in here? Ajukata Ferviaka Vald. Hosu Idol Kera Stulas Elva Lasto as Volt Ahatasa. Amun Kaja Kostunk. Vota Hoje Mar Inlet. Ete Valahol. Eves tob eri ni as igrit. Lein parnata feder zetin. He mustn't get another chance to betray us. Shoot him already! Grima could still be of use to us. Put your weapon down. I'm not going to repeat myself, Jakara. How very unexpected. This is the potential complication you sensed? No, this is not my advisor, but rather an associate. It would appear Benico laid out a convincing case that I'm up to no good. Was she lying? Make your case for how you're not betraying the Empire with this Derek person. No, I am most definitely acting against the Empire's narrow interests. But what I do is not for ill, it is for the future of this galaxy. You spit upon everything the Dark Council represents. The Dark Council? A myopic institution that does nothing more than boost the egos of those who smother its gilded seats. He thinks you've gone to the other side, Argus. 
It is somewhat amusing, isn't it? This is no way to greet an associate, Arcus. You should be nice and close, so I can hold out my hand and strangle you with it. Such a passion for violence. I suppose that's what made you so useful on Tython and Korriban. Thanks for giving us everything we need. Now we can get started in earnest. Not everything. You don't have Garima. We do. Oh, we don't need Garima himself, not anymore. We only ever needed the results of his research. It's almost secure, but not quite. You're with the Republic, aren't you? That's right. I'm also saving your lives. You got a problem with that? Just get us out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Hurry! I wasn't built to survive the crushing depths! <laughs> okay, all set. Climb in and enjoy the ride. Welcome back. Once again, you've displayed a skill and determination that few possess. I've seen worse. Perhaps I should make proper introductions. No need to tell me who I'm addressing. I'm Theron Shan, Republic SAS, and your new ally. If Lana vouches for you, I'll let that be enough. For now. Fair enough, Sith. The way we were fooled by Darth Arcus, the same happened to Theron, except with the Colonel. Between what you found down in that lab and what Lana and I pieced together, I can tell you they're both traitors. Arcus and Darak are in league with a dangerous movement, a shadowy cult known as the Order of Revan. The Order of Revan is no secret to me. I had a run-in with them on Drummond and Cars. In an earlier incarnation, perhaps. They seem to have grown strong and bold, very bold. The Order of Revan used to operate in the shadows of Imperial space, but now their ranks include at least one major Republic figure. That means I can't trust my people and Lana can't trust hers. Present company excluded. And if the Revanites are building an army of cyborgs... This is Jakaro. And I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence Queen Lena of Onderon. Hey, Jakaro, how would you feel about helping me track those two down? <laughs> uh, we'll talk about it. Lana, will you be joining us? We don't yet know how deep the Revanite's influence runs. I must learn what I can from within the Empire. You've done well here, as expected. We'll speak again soon. Our work here is done. I was about to send out a search party. Sorry, I had to confirm some things before coming to see you. As I suspected, the Order of Revan as it once existed is no more. A bit of a shame, really. 
The Revanite's pragmatism may have been anathema to the Sith, but there was something appealing about it. You should know that I was made a Revanite. After crossing Darth Arcus, I doubt your membership stands. Not that the Revanites of now resemble the group as you understood it. The Order of Revan, as it stands now, doesn't wish to change the Empire from within. It aims to destroy us completely, and the Republic along with us. I've not yet learned why or how, but Theron Shan might. He appears to be rather good at his job. With ears in both camps, we'll be better off against whatever threat the Revanites pose. I'm glad you feel that way. I admit I was concerned you wouldn't take to the idea. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss? I think I'm starting to warm up to you, Lana. Is that right? You should know that the feeling's mutual. I have to go now. There's much yet to uncover about the Revanites' plans and the formation of this infinite army of theirs. I'll be thinking of you. Glad to see you again, as always, but I'm afraid any further niceties will have to wait. I know I've mentioned before a strange disturbance within the Force, a sort of writhing mass tied to Darth Arcus. I thought I'd use my connection to Arcus to seek out others tied to the disturbance, Revanites working against us from within. I found a few. Did you learn anything? Theron Shan helped me decipher coded messages between the Revanites. Due to interference on Manan, they've accelerated their schedule. Enough tiptoeing. We know for a fact that Arcus is a traitor. We can expose him. We can't just go making accusations. Darth Arcus is a trusted and powerful member of the Dark Council. You forget to whom you speak. Arcus may have joined the Council after you, but he's known the others for ages. They trust him implicitly. There is another way to stop Arcus. Theron's traced his activities to Ricarda Prime. He and Colonel Darok are building their infinite army. And there's more. The implants they're using, they're made from pieces of the Starforge. The Starforge? Tell me what you know about it. The Starforge was a force-imbued, self-sustaining shipyard, Rakatan. It was destroyed centuries ago, but the Revanites have recovered some of the wreckage. Its technology makes the soldiers nearly immortal, seizes their minds as well, placing them under the Revanites' full control. We need to learn how they accomplished this. It could prove useful to us. Indeed, it could. Theron and Jakara are waiting for us planet side. The sooner we depart for Ricarda Prime, the better. A generous orbital bombardment should take out Arcus, Derek, any other Revanites, and their infinite army. We need to learn the shape and extent of the Order of Revan. Blasting their leadership out of existence from afar won't help. We will see Darth Arcus answer for his crimes. Most importantly, we'll stop the Order of Revan before the balance tips in their favor. Darth Arcus's goal is exceeded only by his stupidity. He has betrayed the Empire and the Dark Council for the last time. Ready a shuttle to Ricarda Prime. We're going. My shuttle is always prepped, my lord. Jakaro, D4. <laughs> Jakaro! Spare me to modicum of respect. Hey, we're set to move on the Temple of the Ancients when you are. That's the traitor's base of operations. Yeah, the Ricotta designed the Star Forge in that temple thousands of years ago. Now it's Argus and Derek's grunt factory. Theron and I will be monitoring your progress from Jakaro's ship. We'll assist you as we can, keep you apprised of matters. You what? Jakaro, I agree to no such thing. Wait, was this the talk with Agent Shad you powered me down for? <laughs> I should warn you, it's a rough road to the temple. The area's lousy with tribal Rakatans more than happy to fight. Found that out the hard way. Wonderful! We're all going to die! Wonderful! Remain focused and all will be well. I'm sure of it. We'll be in touch soon. That's it, we're in. Theron? Okay. According to the structural plans, the only way to get at the head Revanites is through that conscription center. The cyborgs are dormant for now, but they're set to go on high alert once they detect you. The console overload will fry them from the inside. <sighs> nope. Can't work the power safeties from here. You'll have to do the honors. A sound plan. Theron, why can't I get this sensor to work? 
Because Jakaro isn't a big fan of upkeep, probably a dead relay. I'll check it out. Now that he's gone, might I recommend not doing as Theron suggests? An overload would destroy the data as well. The Empire might want its own infinite army someday. You would have to fight those cyborgs, but... There goes any concern of you getting too cozy with the Republic spy. Make no mistake, I serve the Empire. As do I. We'll do this your way. Hey, hey what happened? Why is the console still running? We couldn't make it work. The room will have to be traversed the hard way. Are you sure? What did you try? Everything. If you say so. Hey, those sensor relays were fine, by the way. Not sure what the problem is. Was. The sensor appears to be working again. Wait! Wait! Jakaro still wishes to confront the men who betrayed him and left us for dead. As would I, actually. <laughs> Come on. What's the matter, Arcus? Shuttle not ready yet. We Revanites went through a great deal of trouble to reach this point in our campaign. For you to hamper our progress, it's regrettable. You, Lana, you were never anything more than pawns to us. Important pawns, but pawns all the same. I demand to know what absurdity you and your cult have concocted. Speak. So. This is where I outline our grand design, and then you decide whether or not to spare my life? We both know I'm more valuable than that. Why have just one Revanite in the Dark Council when you could have two? Oh yes, but of course. You came all this way and ruined our efforts simply to sign up. I don't think so. I'm appalled that a worm such as you was ever deemed my equal. Insults? It's no surprise that's all you're capable of. <coughs> this grotesque alien beast does have it partly figured out. Indeed, I won't cooperate. But I'm not fleeing. We will stand our ground and put an end to your perpetual interruption, Colonel. You could see what we were doing, what we want for the galaxy. But you can't see. You'll just have to die. Arcus and Derek were never going to be taken alive. They were never going to talk. I felt Darth Arcus's passing. This is an unfortunate turn. <coughs> Yes, you did. What a relief. Blasted, those two were running a show. They were our best hope of exposing the Revanites. No, they weren't in charge. The disturbance in the Force, I still feel it. It's arrived. Got company! Ships! Capital-sized! Whole bunch of them! Can't tell if they're yours or ours, but one of them's dropping in to visit! As important as Arcus and Derek were to the cause, their deaths won't stop us. They won't even slow us down. That voice... I've heard it before. It's Revan. I almost had the infinite army I wanted so badly. But even without them, I have enough. If you think you can take on the Empire, you're in for a rude awakening. I know all about rude awakenings. I won't suffer one again. 
I watched you take your last breath and say your last words. Oh, I was dead. For all of a blink. Stop hiding behind the hull of that ship and we'll see. Goading me into battle might have worked before I died, but not anymore. I've been reborn. My mind is clearer, my power intensified, and now, with the order under my command, I'm unstoppable. You're telling me the Revanites weren't always under your control? At first, I wanted nothing to do with them. I was no prophet. Then I saw them in a new light. A secret group of devotees waiting to follow my lead without question, to help me save the galaxy. I was a fool to ever disregard them. I finally let the Revanites into my world. A world you have to be erased from. Turbo lasers are locking on! Get out of there! You made it. The way Revan was laying waste to that place, I wasn't sure you'd come out of it in one piece. What are you talking about? I'm hardly in one piece. <coughs> anyway, my point is, I'm glad you got out of there. Any ally right now is a welcome ally. We took care of Arcus, Darak, and their infinite army. But where does that leave us? It's a good question. Now that we know Revan's in the picture, everything changes. For the worse. In fact, it's already started. Whatever do you mean? I'll fill you in, D4. Come on, Jakarl. Let's give him a chance to talk. Lana, when you're done, we can start picking out backwaters to go lie low in. Some good news. I was able to extract a good amount of data from the Infinite Army Conscription Console. Unfortunately, we can't possibly hand it over to our Imperial colleagues. The Revanites have just proven they're everywhere. Jakara's had 12 death sentences declared on him. Theron's been disavowed by the SIS. And the Empire's placed a bounty on my head for the murder of Darth Arcus. You've done nothing of the sort. I'll clear up this entire matter with the Dark Council. Dark Lord, if I may, you would do well to disassociate yourself from me. Our names can't be cleared unless we expose the Revanites. And we can't expose the Revanites without knowing who to expose. The way forward is clear. Theron, Jakaro, and I are going underground. We'll find a way to uncover Revan's plan and stop him. You can't do it alone. You'll need me alongside you. The Dark Council is short one member, and may yet be further compromised. They need you. Be who you are, but be observant, and tell no one the truth about us or what you know. Above all, do not try to contact me. I wish you didn't have to go. It won't be easy for me either. Just know that I'll be thinking of you. All our fates ultimately rest in your hands. Remember that.